Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, it's TPM5 here, back again with another NBA video. In today's video, I'm going to be previewing the Los Angeles Lakers season, so without further ado, let's get started. As you guys know, in 2020, the Lakers won the title in the bubble with a 52-19 record, winning in the finals in 6 games. There's a lot of hype around this season as well, wondering if they could go back to back. However, the injuries ravaged through the team, and they finished with a 42-30 record, which was good enough to be seventh in the Western Conference and the Lakers did make it through the plane beating the Warriors on a very uh, shocking LeBron James heave uh, three-pointer which led to a win 103 you know, 100. Uh, the Lakers still maintain the defensive uh, prowess they were first out of 30 teams in defensive rating which is something that actually kept them afloat during their time in the year without LeBron James and Anthony Davis and then on offense the struggles are reflected with it 24th best uh, offensive rating in the league so they're obviously missing LeBron and Anthony Davis for most of the year but it's worth noting that in the title winning year they're 11th in um, offensive rating as well so this team just needs to have those two guys back on the floor and it can make a world of difference now I think that they've had a lot more time to get their bodies right I'm, I'm concerned about AD playing at center which is something I'll get onto in a minute but just a quick reminder guys to subscribe to the channel obviously I'm making a season preview now I want to make some more for some other teams as well so if you're not a Lakers fan just stick around because I'll put some content up for you guys and if I have any returning subscribers uh, thank you for your continued support I do appreciate it and don't forget to comment as well but uh, let's keep going with the video so back to what I was saying with Anthony Davis now his is a very very good player but I think that he is going to be asked to play minutes at center this year and that's where you kind of get worried because it, it's a lot of um a lot of contact and stuff and he has proven to not be soft but you know, I don't think his body can hold up uh to do some things that Lakers would want him to do now uh, that might be too harsh but it, you want to, he's a really important part of the team and do you want to preserve him last year he averaged 20, 22 points and eight rebounds now that could could have been seen as a mixture of sharing the paint with Montrez Harrell and Andre Drummond or you know it could just be simply seen as a down year so he was fighting through injuries either way I'm expecting him to take a fairly you know good leap from that stat line there and then let's talk about LeBron James as well so many people believe that LeBron James was in contention, contention sorry, for the MVP last year. He did uh, get an ankle sprain when Solomon Hill pretty much somersaulted and landed on his ankle. But LeBron James still had a very good year at 25 points per game along with 8 rebounds and 8 assists as well. He actually shot a fairly good 3 point uh, percentage of 37 and obviously very efficient from the field shooting nearly 60% from 2 point range. Uh, the Lakers... This offseason now, as you guys know, added Carmelo Anthony, Trevor Ariza, Kent Bazemore, Wayne Ellington, Dwight Howard, who's coming back, along with, you know, some of those guys I mentioned before, uh, Malik Monk and Kendrick Nunn. Now, those last two were big surprises, and they do add some, I guess, youth to the team and also add a bit more versatility as well. Now, the Lakers did lose Alex Caruso with uh, the Chicago Bulls kind of prizing him out uh, of the Lakers. Now... Andre Drummond went to Philly on a minimum. They weren't going to bring him back after that little experience in the bubble. Or not the bubble, sorry, in the playoffs. Uh, and then Schroeder, McLemore, and Markeith Morris left. Uh, obviously, Dennis Schroeder has obviously pissed up a bit of money against the wall, but that's that. Now, they did acquire Russell Westbrook, obviously, as you guys know. They trade away Contavious, Caldwell, Perp, Montrez, Harrell, the right to Isaiah Jackson, and then Kyle Kuzma as well. And Alfonso was waived off of his non-guaranteed deal. So... The Lakers are very old this year, and I think the expectation from Jeannie Buss, who is, you know, obviously a very high up person within the Lakers, part of that Buss family, uh, is expecting a win now kind of season, which is something everyone could see, you know, everyone would expect. Now, the Lakers sacrificed so much youth this offseason. They did re-sign Talon Horton Tucker. He will be asked to do a lot more this year. And I think he is someone that can step up in that role. I do get concerned about his ability to shoot from three. But he has great um, a great wingspan, so that could be a good uh, you know, asset for him on the defensive side of the floor. Now, the Lakers are 31 years old in terms of average age, with the second oldest team behind them being the Miami Heat at 28.8 years of age you know, per player on average. And yeah, now what Russell Westbrook is a key part of this team, seeing as they sacrificed a lot of depth for him, and he does have a player option for next year. Now, 
he has to prove his ability to shoot threes he has to start making them at a relatively you know elite level for this thing to work now it will be useful for when if lebron james wants to sit games out or if he does have injuries i think that westbrook showed an ability in washington to hold up the fort when bill was out and you know westbrook obviously averaged 22 points and a very comfortable triple double i think it was 11 and a half rebounds and assists but he remains to be a key part i think that the lakers in terms of talent could make it work I just get worried with Westbrook's tunnel vision. And I know it sounds like I'm knocking him. He's obviously at his best. We all know what he's able to do, but we also have to be cautious of the negatives. But I think that between being back home, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, he's kind of been turfed around the league for the last couple of seasons. I think that he'll be willing to buy in and you know have a consistent role and accept what he has to do similar to Dwight Howard obviously he'll be more productive than Dwight now on the topic of Dwight it's good to see him come back to the Lakers during the bubble especially he was able to get onto Jokic's skin and many scenarios there where he was averaging seven and a half points and seven rebounds in less than 20 minutes a night he's just a good guy to have there in terms of veteran presence and also uh, given the Lakers have Marcus Gasol as well a kind of traditional defender that can defend in the paint and doesn't you know have uh, struggles in that area now i'm just going to talk about some of the smaller additions before i end the video malik monk was uh, a very interesting pick and i think he was collected on a minimum deal last season he averaged 12 points two and a half rebounds and two assists he was shooting 40 percent from three albeit in just 42 games he was a very key part of the offseason as well kendrick nunn on two years 10 million looks to be a good guy coming off the bench he can play back up to westbrook and then veteran guys like wayne ellington Trevor Ariza and Kent Bazemore returning to the Lakers after having relatively mediocre careers, although they were able to shoot and, you know, I think in the case of Ellington and Ariza defend at a fairly good level, could be valuable additions. Melo looks to be a good six-man type of scoring player. I wouldn't put it beyond him. Last year, he was averaging, I think, 13 points and five rebounds off of the bench at the Blazers, I think off of the bench here in 24 and a half minutes a night so I think that he can buy in into that bench role and overall the Lakers are very good. I see the Lakers as contenders to make it to the finals and I think that they could knock off the Nets if Westbrook fits that remains to be seen. So that is it for the preview guys please don't forget to like share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.